So come again this uh, prepared quadratic equation and solved. That part is okay, alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. So another additional part also available. 2 sin alpha by 2, 2 sin alpha by 2, sin beta by 2 equal to 1. Now we consider that equation and try to show the second uh, and the first answer, first and the second part, right? Revision tube number two, second question. Okay. Right. Now see, the second data, 2 sin alpha by 2, sin beta by 2 equal to 1, right? 2 sin alpha by 2, sin beta by 2 equal to 1. Now, I try to square it. Square this equation. Once you square this equation, you can consider the cos alpha in the equation. Cos alpha. Cos beta also can be substitutes. Here, alpha by 2. But if you well in the trigonometric double angle formula, or multiple angles, the chance for that one. Okay, we'll see. Square it, both sides, square it, square it, square it. Equal to 1, is it okay? Right, square both sides, right? What is cos 2 alpha? What is cos 2 theta? 2 cos square theta minus 1. You see now, cos 2 theta cos 2 theta equal to cos square theta minus 1. Or otherwise, 1 minus 2 sin square theta, okay? Our target completely in terms of cos. This problem completely to be changed in terms of cos. Okay, important problem we are after. Uh, now change this cos in this answer. Try to substitute the cos parts for here. Or can I take this one? 2 times sine square alpha by 2. And the other one is 2 times sine square beta by 2, right? This equal to 1. Okay, what is 2 sine square alpha by 2? 2 sine square theta means 1 minus cos 2 theta, is it? 1 minus cos 2 theta, right? So what is 2 sine square alpha by 2 therefore? 1 minus cos alpha. Are the 1 minus cos alpha. What is 2 sin square beta by 2? 1 minus cos beta. Okay, 1 minus cos beta. 1 minus cos beta. Okay, equal to 1. So interesting problem. Okay, now multiple the bracket and give the, give the answer. Multiple the bracket 1 into 1, 1. Minus cos alpha, minus cos beta, plus cos alpha, cos beta, equal to 1. So 1, 1 cancel, go to your second part answer. What is second part answer? Therefore, rearrange for sum of the roots, sum of the roots, equal product of the roots, huh? It's the second part answer to be shown. Cos alpha plus cos beta equal cos alpha into cos beta. You can't check here. Here cos alpha, cos beta, different answer. Here different answer. You can't take from here. It's the method from the second data not uh, printed uh, yeah, in the paper, right? Venaskara nil. Mahadan domain. 2 sin alpha by 2 sin beta by 2 equal to 1. Equal to 1. So square both sides and go to the answer, right? Okay. So there's a first part. First part is what? Y square equal 4A into A minus X. Y square equal 4A into A minus X. 
So how that one? A simple part. Now you know cos alpha plus cos beta equal to cos alpha into cos beta. You know the expression for the summation and the product. You know already after we said the quadratic equation in terms of cos theta, the summations are cos alpha plus cos beta. You know the answer? Cos alpha into cos beta, you know? So you apply those substitute parameters. So cos alpha plus cos beta equal cos alpha into cos beta, right? Uh, substitute, but is sum of the roots 4ax over x square plus y square equal, but is product of the root 4a square minus y square over x square plus y square, right? Now see both sides, x square plus y square cancel, rearrange. You have the first part answer, right? So what the answer? Y square subjected. What is y square equal? 4a square minus 4ax. So y square equal, take the 4a out, take the 4a out. Then a minus uh, x, okay? So interesting problem, useful. So think a similar fashion, the idea I have prepared for a new equation from the given. That is become a quadratic. So I prepared this first question and second problem, a close relation. First is completely algebraic, here trigonometric, both involving quadratic equation lessons, right?